Hello everyone, it's me Nonskiller. Today, we are going to figure out how to get VR chats. One easy way is just by typing in the Google chat, VR chats, and pressing on the top widget on your screen. Now that you're here, you are on VR chats. All you have to do is press on this button, the login button, and type in your username. Once you type in your username, you'll be able to go into this destination. Now, allow me to go through each of the panels. Here are your friends, if you have friends. Here's where you download everything you need to know. Here are your worlds. Here are your avatars. Here's your account link. And here's your block and mutes. Anyway, if you want to be a creator, you press on the download Unity button and you click on current version of Unity. Current version of Unity. Next, you choose the current version. Based off what you're seeing, the current version will be different from one another. Click on whatever you have. You use a Linux system, iOS system, Facebook, whatever. You know, most people might use Windows. Most people might use Apple. Or Mac. I, I, I don't see a lot of Linux. But whatever. Point is, you have a choice of whatever you want to choose. All right? You, you, ha you have it all. Just, 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 just understand how to install it. Now, there are three versions of VRChat SDK. You could go Classic VRChat SDK 2, which has little to no problems when downloading. Or you could go with VRChat SDK 3 which is more high in depth and you have to really understand Udon and the functionalities that go with it. It's more for people who actually know how to actually set things up, but I myself do not know how to use Udon. I might make a video on it one day, but so far I'm sticking with SDK2. For those who want to go classic, press SDK2 to download your SDK for your Unity project file. So you click on this. Once you have it saved, all you have to do is click on your public Unity. You choose your file, for example, here, the new Kermit, or you make a new one, with, and we'll call it Nonskillers Party. Okay, this is Nonskillers Party. Anyway, when you create your new project and you click on the button to install, all you have to do, and it's really simple, make sure you don't check off anything on here. Press import. The file will import all your necessities for VRChat SDK. All right, now that you have imported VRChat SDK, all you need to know is the splash screen for notifications and the show control panel. These other functions are just here to just help you out a little, but mostly just for checking for update. So you click on the show control panel, you sign into your VR chat account, and all you'll see is a VRC scene descriptor or VRC avatar descriptor is required to build VR chat SDK content. All right, now you might be wondering how exactly do you make an avatar? Well, you see, one simple way is just to make a cube. Add components. Make sure to find avatar descriptor in your searcher. Click on this. You now have what you need. Now the only issue is you have to go and find this thing, which is your view position. So the best way to do this is by trying to locate where it is because I have no clue where it is myself. Oh, I found it. It's right, it's right there. As you can tell, it's completely off. So off that it's not even within the parameters because I moved it. Now I'm going to move it forward until we see it. Now, the whole point about doing this, and it works best on humanoids instead of cubes, but the goal is to train you on how to make it move properly. Now that you've done that, it is done. 
Your cube is complete. You also need an animator. So let's add an animator to animate. With the animator, we are able to add a new and powerful avatar. Auto fix is also good to allow us to fix this as well. Now, the next step is to publish your avatar in your avatar world. But anyway, you put in your avatar name, uh, cube test. Cube test. Make sure it's private if you want to private. I mean, make sure it's public if you want a public. Private if you want it where no one can use your avatar unless someone steals it. Now, you might be wondering, why can't we use something with the screen? Well, you see, you could get off the game tab and go on the scene tab. Pull this forward, like so. Rotate the screen. And there you go. You now have a cube that is lit in terrible lighting. Now, you might be asking yourself, non-scaler, can we light this up? A bit and I can sell you this yes we can we can and there you go now the box is now lit properly mattering what shaders you use in another episode I will explain this later but mattering what you use it will differ and now you upload here and you click on the button like so and you upload your avatar. And there we go, update complete. Launch VR chat to see your uploaded content. There we go, everyone. We're about to get on VR chat. VR chat, everyone. So, now that you downloaded VR chats, you go in and sign in into your VR chat account. Do not sign into your Steam account. Go on your VR chat account and put in your username. You will be able to log in as your username that you signed up. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You had this you have to sign up. That's another thing. I think most people will understand that non skiller. Now now when you get in your VR chat world, mattering where you are and spawn, you will discover a place you have never seen before. Your home world. And you will know that this is VR chat. What are the results of your VR chat avatar non-skiller? What does it look like? I'm about to show you the results. Here are the results of your creation based off following my tutorial. So some of you might be asking yourselves, what exactly does all this do? I uploaded my avatar and precisely what exactly am I getting from this? Now I'm going to show you. Here is the cube that we created if you followed my tutorial. Whoa, oh God, oh God, oh. And here it is the avatar that you have created now the only downside is it is an object and I will show you better ways to optimize your cube but so far this is the best way simple to teach you guys how to upload avatars on VR chat now show everybody your creation and tell them that you watch non-skillers tutorial video on how to create an avatar from just one simple few clicks. All right, so anyway, the result of your avatar will be a cube, which is completely not properly set up. And that's because it is an object and not a humanoid rig. Let's just, let's destroy, let's actually keep this for now and find an avatar we can grab from examples. We have some prefabs that this system gives us. There is actually a few examples on creating a avatar. And I'm gonna show you that right now. It, and it's it's more apparent than you think it is. So what you're gonna do is go into VRChat examples, go to examples two, go to animation, and go to male standing. Now you might you might be asking yourself, non-skiller, there's nothing there. 
But what I want you to do is I want you to go and I want you to go and duplicate this. And I want you to do actually I want you to actually press on the command or control key and press control D or command D. Now what I also want you to do is rename it. Rename it to Avatar Rig. Zero one. You can put the zero one if you want, but that, that's just me. Now, I'm going to show you about the rigging system. All, all to most avatars are humanoid. Go on configure. This is your avatar. And what you're going to do is you're going to follow these steps. But it has to be spine two. We don't use spine one. We use spine two. So as long as you know where, where to place it, the, the spine format will go properly in. Now, you might be asking yourself, non-scalar, is, is this going to be how we're going to make our avatars? Yes, it is. Here is our second avatar. Yes, it, this is our second avatar, everybody. Our second avatar is this guy right here, okay? So... What we're going to do is rather than I'm going to copy the pipeline manager of the original cube and add an avatar descriptor onto this avatar that we have created, the avatar rig. And right click on pipeline manager and paste with the values. And now you can delete the cube if you want. Now, now that the cube is gone, what we're going to do is, because I can't see where he is, I'm going to create a cube directly on the head piece. So if I go here, down here to the head, I right click here and I create a cube. There we go. Now the cube itself is on the head, but it's a little too big. So I'm going to shrink the cube like so. Let's go and find the avatar descriptor now. As you can tell, the avatar's head is directly right here. What we want to do is shrink the cube as best as possible so we can see where we're looking at. Now, it's not the best right now, but it, it gives you an idea of where things are. This is literally an invisible avatar, but the goal itself is showing you how to rig your headpieces properly. Right now, it looks like the headpiece is doing where it needs to be, and the height of the avatar is not that bad. If you have lip sync, you would have different things like Visme blend shapes and jaws if you are more comprehensive when creating your avatars. Anyway, now you might be wondering yourself, non-scalar, why do we have to use this type of color for this material? I, I kind of don't like this material. Can we use a different material? Yes, sure. So, to create materials... There's one way to do it. You go to create and you go to materials. Very simple. And you call it anything. Like maybe you want to call it blue. I want to make a blue cube. Okay. And there's different shaders you could use. Download different shaders if you want. I won't explain shaders in this, but there are some great shaders you could use from other people like Pyomi, I think. I hope I said his name right. And you make it blue. You drag it on, and now the cube is blue. Now, the only thing I don't like is how it looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and choose an unlit color texture to keep it more plain. Now that we've done that, you can save this file. The most important thing in the world is to save. And go to your control panel. Now, the next step is now to upload. We have to twist this around this whole video. Now, the performance might be saying it's good. And the reason for that is because of the headpiece. Now, also do not forget to turn to remove useless things like box collider. That's going to cause optimization issues. Now, your performance should be great and now you could update your avatar. Now, you can go and make it public if you want. You could upload an image And you can zoom in right directly in there, right to the head of the cube, like that. And we're going to call it, I'm going to call this one Cube Boy, okay? I'm going to change the name of my avatar and call him Blue Cube Boy, okay? All right, his name is Blue Cube Boy now. Blue Cube Boy. Yep, 
that's his name and we're going to upload this avatar to the system so now that we're back here let me show you guys the new avatar that we created together ah yes the blue avatar cube boy yeah there we go and now I'm gonna show you the results and there we go and excellent now you are a cube congratulations this is your first avatar that you have created on VR chat and the best part is it does not go through the mirror that's great you are now a floating cube and it works look at that perfect right the most essentials a rig a polygon and basic knowledge on how to upload your VR chat character. I hope this helped you a lot. Let's sing the snake eater. I'm still in the dream. <laughs> snake eater. What happened? Like a thrill. Yeah. <laughs>